Hello YouTube, this is the second episode of From the Vault with Chrome, and I am Chrome. Here's the intro. Uh, right, just an update from the first episode, hopefully you've watched it and liked it, hopefully. Um, something happened and uh, to the game I had it minimized and it crashed and didn't seem to save it and it saved on another one which was where um, another Calvro one which I screwed up on probably. Um, and so that's why I have different equipment. I ran through the first quest with this because it seemed like it wasn't finished for some odd reason. So I went through that. He's leveled up to level four. Um, I uh, from the cave. I got these two nice rings, ring of greed, which gives me more money. And a uh, maximize, uh, maximize damage one ring thing, which is nice. Then I got a scepter, which I sold to Akara over here for five thousand, which was very nice. And this one. Uh, pretty useless for me because I'm, I'm a barbarian. Uh, so, yeah. The, then I got with the money, Tome of Town Portal, which is always useful. Tome of Identify thingy, which is useful when you're not in the camp after the third quest. And some thawing stamina and antidote. So I got from Charcy, the blacksmith person, uh, gloves, a helmet, leather armor, and these boots. These are good because they got poison resistance. Uh, mind you, I'll probably upgrade them by the time I finish Act 1, but if I don't, then they'll be useful for Andariel, the last boss, because of she does a poison area effect damage. Well, that's what I remember anyway. Wrong button. Uh, I also got a sash of thorns from the boss in the Den of Evil, which is a very nice thing. Uh, paladins actually have an ability which uh, gives them thorns. So yes, I will start the Greetings. second quest now. My rogue scouts have just reported an abomination in the monastery graveyard. Apparently, Andariel is not content to take only our living. Bloodraven, one of our finest captains in the battle against Diablo at Tristram, was also one of the first to be corrupted by Andariel. Now you'll find her in the monastery graveyard, raising our dead as zombies. We cannot abide this defilement. If you are truly our ally, you will help us destroy her. And so, Sister's Burial Ground. As a point of note, Blood Raven is, in fact, the rogue character from the first game, which is nuts. And one of the reasons why I chose to buy these two weapons, uh, which does one uh, increases damage to undead, and this one increases damage to demons, so which is most useful. So then, let us run out. Oh yes, for the free ability, I got fine potion like I did in the first episode. Ooh, try. Yay. Right. Uh, let us find the cold plains. That way I have the wave point as well. But uh, one of the. When I was th 
been <laughs> um, thinking about the uh, quest before recording. Um, I remembered the dying animation for the like demon undead uh, rogues, and when I recently played Warcraft 3, uh, and I played the undead for them because undead are cool, but um, the rogues reminded me of the. Banshees and the Dark Rangers in Warcraft 3 because of the Dark Ranger the Banshees like scream and like pop into um, like air so yeah it kind of reminded me of that which was cool uh, I also checked before <laughs> I do that uh, this, but I checked before and uh, that Diablo came before Warcraft, so yeah, they could have got the idea from that. Beware, the evil is strong ahead. Take care. Indeed. Many, many, many. It's funny that they have one scout there, just guarding the way. Cool. Yeah. So, uh, for the third quest, I don't know how I'm going to set it up. Yet, but I might hear it. Dang, dang. As I was saying, um, I think I might go a, a slightly <laughs> different route depending on how quickly I um, do stages in the third quest because you have to go through a massive cave and then kill a demon tree and stuff, which is all cool, but. Um, but it's like time consuming so I don't know if it's going to be good or bad so I might get to through the cave before uh, doing the episode that way you don't know or I might just do it so I do part of the quest in one episode depending on how long it takes if it doesn't take so long then I might just do it from there but yeah just depends on how long I don't want you to just sit there at me Ooh, already here yeah, sit there me doing going through caves and stuff and without doing like parts of the quest Yeah, the third quest is uh, interesting if you've played number one. You get to meet an old friend called Deckard Kane, the person who lives through lots of crap and then finally dies in the third one. Which you may get to see me play ish. Depends on if I want to do play that. Right. Ah, there she is. My army will destroy. Cancers it even, so my short sword will okay. Kind of disappointing. 
a emerald. Good riddance, Blood Raven. So that Blood Raven dead. Hmm. When uh, should I go venturing into the catacombs? Catacombs. Uh, yeah, why not? Uh, I know I was gonna say doing quests and stuff, but this just seemed really small, so I'll do one of the crypts. Kill things. If I level up, I'll go back. I'm close to up a little bit anyway. So. One of the things that you play in like this and old school sort of RPGs is destroy all the barrels. You might find something good. Brave. It's a minion. Star main the unholy doesn't he sound like <laughs> 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 uh, Okay, let's pick up loot. And I really run out of mana, so I think I'll upgrade energy again. Because that's important. That's a screw. Uh, what should I get? Should I get another one of these? I haven't been using that a lot, so maybe I should. Hmm. Ooh, purple. That's cool. Because of that, does both uh, health and mana. So that really useful mm. dead, dead. Die. skeletons you can't obviously do that no bugs just <laughs> oh well Anymore. Grave rubber. I am overburdened. I can't carry anymore. Hmm. Don't like that. Don't care about that. Crappy things, the light ones, because of. Yeah. Get rid of the barrels. Money. Money is always good. Important. Aha, the boss. Uh, he died rather easy. <laughs> rather disappointed. I am overburdened. Yeah, in small dungeon things that have no quests and stuff. Uh, there's like these golden chests. And that's pretty obvious that it's the ending bit. Kind of thing. Let's... Uh, hmm... Crappy potion. 
potion. Can I drop the poison bow thingy? And then sell these. Well, let's go sell these stuff and then give them the quest. Sounds like a better idea. Uh, uh, yeah, not as good as my Hello. thorns. Uh, Two hundred. Let's go sell them to the blacksmith. That sounds like a better option in the first place. Might get more money. I don't know if it Good day. works like that, but... Yeah. Go give in the quest and finish this episode. I can hardly believe that you've defeated Bloodraven. Though she was once my closest friend, I pray that her tortured spirit remains banished forever. You have earned my respect, stranger, and the allegiance of the rogues. I have placed several of my best warriors at your disposal. Yeah, that's her 180 on her point of view. Nice allegiance and all Good day. that lot. I can hardly believe that you've defeated Bloodraven. Though she was once my close Gossip. I don't trust many outlanders, but Warif seems fine. He never says much to me though. That's cause he's epic. Uh oh. Oh yeah. Let's go get a bow. Like one of the ones that I saw. <laughs> um, yeah, this one. Yeah, I kind of forgot that you can do this. I'll put that to good use. But yeah. Okay. Uh, this is. I'll end it here. So I hope you liked the episode and all that sort of thing. So. Uh, hope to see you next time and yeah, subscribe and like the video. So this is Crone and goodbye.